So this is basically following up to the previous video that I showed the steps that I use to set up my bases. Pretty much all across the MTD, same thing with this the Smith. Uh, most bases are fairly, if they're well built, if they're cheaper bases, it's not the same exact process because they're all built different. The nut height is different. The, the height of the actual bridge is different, so that changes, but pretty much this is a, a follow-up. I got the action where I want it. I, I basically found it. Um, I still have the key in the truss rod, so just in case, you know, I find, you know, a, a complete dead spot, I would have to adjust, but um, pretty much I found my action. Um, it's not tuned 440, not yet, but this is pretty much how it sounds. Um, and take note, I, I do like a little bit of buzzing, like slight, you know, slight, slight, slight. It has that, uh, it's like an attack. So I could basically, I, 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 with, this, I, with this camera angle, you can't tell, but the string is like, it, it, it's, I'm not even barely pushing. Like it's 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 laying on the frets like so I can actually raise the saddle slightly and that little buzz will will definitely go away but this is pretty much how it sounds That's and it's flat. It was active, but you know, just just flat. No EQ, dead in the center. So that's that's pretty much and the amp, of course, those who know me, it's always flat. It has that uh that punch attack type of feel. So I think I pretty much got it. Hope you guys enjoyed the previous video if you watched it. Or well, the previous video if you watched it. Or the pre I, <laughs> if you didn't enjoy it, <laughs> thumbs up to you. <laughs>